Hello guys, um, as I said in my latest video, I'm going to try to do more check-ins. Um, it's Monday, it's about 4.50, I've been working from home. Um, I haven't been in the gym this morning because I had the most horrendous sleep. I did the mistake, I didn't took my sleeping tablet. And I was literally just tossing it and turning and I think I fall asleep around like 3 a.m. Like obviously I could go to gym because my plan is to wake up at 4.30 anyways. But then I was thinking like, well, I would be absolutely knackered and I will have just horrendous Monday. So yeah, and then I woke up this morning at like 8.30ish and I am just so sore, like my back is killing me. And my neck, I don't know why, I think it's probably because of the bad sleep. But, yeah, when I'm walking the stairs and even just standing, it's like my, like, side here on my of my back is just in pain. So, I don't really, I don't really know what is going on, what is happening. So, that's fun. Um, looks like after my 10 days of smashing my fitness challenge, I hit the wall and obviously then I was thinking I can go to gym after work however if I go then I will be so hyped up because obviously the endorphins and being in the gym and then I will have troubles to fall asleep and tomorrow's office day so I'm gonna take today off and just gonna fail today hopefully it's gonna be the only day I fail but <laughs> we will see and I will have the early night hello hi it's friday actually so this week i'm kind of on and off to be fair with my moods and stuff like monday obviously i reported but since that i did my 10 case a day i did one home workout and this morning it's actually eight oh you can't really see it hold on it's 8 17 on friday i just got home from gym had a shower wash my hair everything and i'm just gonna do my skincare so i was like you can do the skincare with me so yeah the first one i'm using the snail mucin essence from cosarex uh i do only like two pumps because in the past i think it kind of break me out but recently I have really kind of start laying differently the skincare and I see a big big difference so starting with that obviously I double cleanse I use my oil to do the first cleanse and then foaming cleanser to do a second cleanse um so yeah this week as I said it's kind of on and off but I feel I'm going out the right direction after being so unmotivated and sore on Monday. Also, I do enjoy gym more because obviously I've been in a gym since kind of on and off from January. And every time I... Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you what I'm doing. So I'm using this Santella uh, Ampule as next step again i do just a little bit spread it out and then i will just kind of pat it on um so yeah so i was on and off in a gym and you know i didn't really enjoy it because i felt like you know i'm just fatty fuck and i am not where i used to be and i got really frustrated that obviously i let myself go and gain all the way weight and just yeah been like miserable however since last week i can see uh, a big difference in my gym performance because i'm getting pumped which i know can sound a bit ridiculous maybe to you but i used to have like here there was like it, i have a vein here and every time i got like a very good pump when i was doing shoulders or like upper body it kind of stand out and today was the second time I saw my little Wayne coming out so 
that really motivates me like you know I'm not the Pilates girl I'm not the one who's just going to do cardio I really enjoy lifting weights lifting quite heavy have a quite loaded workouts to get really sweaty out of breath and just you know see that I did a good job and feel a little bit so afterwards so I feel I'm slowly getting in that stage again which is nice also I'm seeing a little differences on uh, on my body so I feel like this part is getting a bit slimmer definitely my back I don't have such a big like creases there but my bum is still big and my legs are still big so there's no progress there but also I feel like on my arms I feel like I'm getting a little bit like smaller even though I still have big arms but we're getting there so which is nice um so next step is Cetaphil moisturizer I swapped basically to this one from my Centella it's the same brand and same range uh, moisturizer because I think it was really kind of like breaking me out, which I did not enjoy. So, you know, I just went to good old trusted Cetaphil because I know I do not break out on this one. Uh, saying that I have a pimple here and pimple here. They are like healing, but that's just me because I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit lazy to do my skincare properly uh, this week so yeah it is what it is but hey ho hey ho um what else was going on work is working you know same old shit as per usual so not much chance even though I feel less stressed which is quite nice I think I'm finally in that space when I can really like not get stressed and kind of switch off because there's certain things at work which I can't really do anything about it and it really helps so I feel less stressed I've been reading every day as per usual really enjoying reading uh, Band of Brothers it's kind of my favorite book of this year so far so kind of flying through the more on 40% it's quite a hefty book um so yeah that's it and last thing i do eye cream i ran out my beauty of josan so i just went to boots and got this nivea q10 anti wrinkle power experts apparently it's wrinkle filler serum so just do that also i love to put my eye cream on the top of my lids as well and very very gently I'm just like rubbing it in I know you should be patting it but I can't be bothered I just do it with a really light finger put it all over my eyes does it really help god knows but I feel better when I do it you know so doing this and then I leave this sink in and then I will put my SPF my favorite one beauty of Josan I actually opened a new one I forgot to put it on my table but after this kind of sink in even though I'm probably gonna be staying at home today I still put a sunscreen on because I'm sitting uh, in front of window and it might be sunny but yeah it doesn't hurt you to uh, to get a sunscreen on so yeah this is skincare done and then now I will make my breakfast which I'm gonna show you as well so the breakfast is served I was craving a savory one so I grilled some mackerel I have my pur purple or black rice uh, obviously homemade kimchi I have some soybean acai dish some pickled radish massive mug of miso soup and then as a dessert, I'm drinking this yogurt little drinks. So that's uh, today's breakfast. Good morning. It's Saturday. I had a little in, so it's actually 10.28. I already have my gym clothes on, which is good. We're going to do legs today. Legs? <laughs> I don't know why I said that way. Legs. Um, am I excited? No. Do I want to go? No. But do you know what we practice? 
a discipline. So we're gonna fucking go. Um, it is actually a sunny and blue sky, but that should change in the afternoon. It should be cloudy and grey. Um, I was thinking to making kimchi. However, I really need to start booking my Japan trip. So I think I'm gonna stay at home this afternoon and really sit down plan my Japan trip, get the flight tickets and book the accommodation because when I was looking this week and last week lots of places like the one I saved are already gone for uh, the time period that I want to go which is around six months-ish so I was like wow what is going on so yeah I just need to basically Needs to, I just need to sit down and really plan it. So I think that's the plan for this afternoon. Um, but yeah, first let's go and smash my legs. That sounds horrible. Anyways, let's go to the gym. I, can you see me here? I will travel too far. Just got back from gym, got myself a matcha latte on the way home, not the best. So I think in my new local coffee shop I'm gonna stick to the coffee, because the coffee, uh, coffee? The coffee is actually quite nice. Um, Before I get showered and finally eat, it's 1.24, so it's it's been a while <laughs> and I need to eat because I'm starving. I did legs as I said and maybe after like <sighs> I think it was probably in Finchley when I still lived there I did barbell squats so that would be minimum about like nine months maybe a year so I did some barbell squats I got humbled not gonna lie had only five is on each side and managed to do four sets of six but you know what it's a start it's a starting point and we're gonna progress um also, luckily, finally, my neighbour is actually next door because they're renovating the house. And about like two weeks ago, my parcel got delivered there by accident, even though I selected uh, get it in a parcel shop. But hey ho, I'm over it. But I got myself a new trainers. I know I said I'm not going to be spending money, but um, I, you know, if you've seen my beige Reebok, the Dutch shoe that I wear all the time. They are honestly the most comfiest shoes ever. I have another pair as well in a grey colour, which I'm still saving because these shoes are 90 quid normally. And on when it's like a deal or sale, they are usually for like half price. Um, so I stock up, right? Uh, but because I, I'm not running in a gym, because I can't run, it's going to hurt my knees and I get any shin splints and it's not worth the pain. So I'm just walking uh, incline on a treadmill. My hookahs are kind of battered. I had them for like two years, more than that, two and a half years, I would say. So I needed a new kind of like walking shoe. I got myself a different pair of Reeboks, but they are quite narrow. And because I got fat, my foot also got fat. And that's what happens. You just get fat all around, okay, if you gain weight. Or at least in my case. Um, so I need to get used to it because they are quite tight. So I usually have them for if I could do like a short walks. And that's about it. So yeah, wanted a new pair. And I found on Sports Direct the same trainer, the favourite one, just in a, it's like a silver colourway. I haven't seen them yet, I haven't opened them, I just took them out of the the plastic. Uh, these ones are the Reebok, uh, or Reebok Premier Road Plus 6, as you can see. And this one should be in a silver colour, which on the website look alright, and I'm like, it's just a gym shoe, so not a big deal, right? So... Oh! Okay, okay, so they are not as silver as I thought. They are a little bit, they have like these orange accents, which I don't remember they've been there on the websites, but I'm not mad. And yeah, I got size UK 6 because that's what I have in my beige one. The other ones are six and a half because 
you know, I hope I'm gonna lose a bit of weight and they're gonna be, you know, comfy. This one's out like now. The beige one's getting a little bit like big. So, you know, but if I'm walking in a gym, my foot anyway is gonna like extend and swell a little bit. So six it should be absolutely fine. But yeah, those are my new chinas for gym. Cost me 26 pounds. 26 pounds. So yeah, that's a not a bad bad deal. Anyways, I go shower. I go eat finally and then I'm gonna sit down and plan my Japan trip. Can you feel me here? Oh, are my edges too hard? There's a body in the water. There's a body in the sky. There's a body in the garden. Close your eyes. So as you've seen, I start planning my Japan trip and i am a bit overwhelmed i need to do the whole logistics i have two weeks in japan and i'm already like freaking out because i don't want to spend too much time in tokyo but also i want to see everything i want to spend definitely most days in kyoto because from kyoto you can go to the bamboo forest and to nara to see the deer and everything so i definitely want to see that and so like yeah the kyoto would be the most days i obviously want to go to osaka and then i want to go to hiroshima so yeah getting a bit overwhelmed two weeks is obviously not enough to do japan but that's all I can do. I got two weeks off at work, so gonna do that. And yeah, I'm just gonna now sit down and try to figure out all the logistics and how many nights I need in each city and just figure out because the flights as well is like you can go to one airport which is close to central, or you can go to the other one which is like three hours away. And I need to figure out kind of time wise which gonna be more sensible. Obviously, I'm gonna be traveling for probably. 19 20 hours with a layover i think i'm gonna either stop in dubai and then go to uh tokyo or gonna fly to doha and then from doha go to tokyo so yeah <laughs> lots to figure out lots to figure out but that's fine that's fine at least i know the days kind of roughly i'm just gonna do all the jazz that i can figure out I would like to buy flight tickets as well and start to do the accommodation because the places I looked maybe like two, three weeks ago are already gone. You can't get, you can't basically book uh, those hotels. So obviously I'm a bit freaking out. So I just want to kind of this weekend to book the main bits and then figure out the rest, like the attractions and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> fun times. Wish me luck. Good morning. I just woke up. Um, 9.42, quite early for Sunday. It's pissing down rain. I hate it. <sighs> but we're going to gym and then straight away to food shop. So, yeah. Um, I actually had a really productive evening yesterday. I am down almost £1,500 on my bank account, which is lovely. But I have flight to Japan. I and from I have all my accommodations booked so Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka and Hiroshima. I will do obviously well I stay quite I stay actually additional day in Tokyo so I'm gonna do a round trip to Mount Fuji from Tokyo because you can get like a tour with all the cool spots which actually gonna be easier for me because I don't need to really like do so much research where actually you can see Mount Fuji really nicely and you know goofing about transportation and maybe accommodation because it's uh, there's too many and I think you need to have a car as well to really like get all the good spots and so I think I'm gonna do that uh, while I'm in Kyoto obviously I'm gonna do a trip to Bamboo Forest and Nara and other places so staying quite lots of days in Tokyo lots of days in Kyoto only two days in Osaka and like two days in Hiroshima 
uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Excuse my hair. They are horrendous. But hey ho, bar. Yeah, at least the trip is booked. All the important bits as well. Also, I've been counting if I need to get the rail pass. That would be £441 roughly for two weeks on there. But if I'm going to just buy individual because I'm not moving that much, it would cost me around like, I think it's 300 which is so much cheaper. So I think I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do a bit more research. But so far for what I did yesterday, that looks like I will do it that way. Um, and yeah, I'm exciting. We still only have a long time. We still have a long time to go until the trip but I'm buzzing I'm buzzing we're going to Japan which I always had in my mind like oh it's a dream destination you know I need to have so much money to go and I want to spend at least like three weeks there and really like travel whole Japan which uh obviously I could do but then in the same time it's like you know what I'm gonna do two weeks I think it's gonna be enough for the four cities I chose and I can always come back because I'm in this now in that mentality, you know what, I'm gonna sacrifice whole year, I'm not gonna splurge, we're gonna live below our means and then I will spend all my money on traveling. So hopefully in couple uh couple <laughs> couple uh hopefully in couple years I can actually go back to Japan and see like north uh north of Japan that would be really nice and then obviously south as well but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, but yeah. Also, I was thinking maybe I can actually fly from Tokyo to Kyoto or Tokyo to Osaka. And that might be even cheaper because it's like international flights. So I need to explore that option as well. But we have time. We have time to do that. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. So... I have things to looking forward to. I have good motivation now to actually really like stick up to my gym, not shop, uh, not do stupid decisions and yeah, just, uh, just save as much money as possible and everything to have the best holidays. So we will see, but yeah, I will go to gym now. Then the food shop, as I said, that I need to edit this video, and then I'm gonna be just chilling because I, let me tell you, this whole gym challenge, fitness challenge, actually kicking my ass. Like you, I can tell, like I'm very unfit overall, and I'm getting like easily tired. Like yesterday, I think I went to bed around ten. I started reading. Maybe if I read like three, four pages, and I just pass out because I was so tired. So. Yeah, gonna take it easy, but hey ho, it is what it is. So, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.